Stephen, it's a very busy Saturday for a lot of people. Looks like the weather is cooperating today. Yeah, compared to <laughs> yesterday, uh, you know, we are in a much better shape. We've talked about, you know, being nice for the farmer's market this morning. For the kids, if they're out on the field, they got some soccer practice, soccer games later on today the, through the morning hours. Temperatures are relatively cool, chilly right now. It's jacket weather out the door and kind of breezy. Fields obviously drying out. And just I'll point this out for as we head towards midday afternoon, the sunburn risk goes up pretty quick this time of year. And it's, it can usually this time of year catch people off guard. I know it's caught me off guard in the past, but it's early spring. You're not really thinking about having the sunscreen handy as much because you think, oh, it's not you know hot outside. Temperature has nothing to do with the UV index. And the UV index does start to climb pretty quickly this time of year. And it's been in the high category recently. So again, please, uh, you know, if you're going to be out a lot today, have the sunscreen handy because you can pick up a sunburn. Uh, as we look from Owasso this morning, a steady breeze. Here's a look from West Tulsa. You know, that haze is still kind of hanging in and you're still going to smell it out the door this morning. But we do think it's should gradually improve as the day goes along. Temperatures 40s north, low 50s to the south, and again, that steady northwest breeze. 15 to 20 mile an hour winds are a heck of a lot better than 50 to 60 mile an hour winds like yesterday. So we'll certainly take it. But again, the breeze is still fairly steady for the morning hours. And so that's why, you know, the fire crews are going to be monitoring those hot spots pretty closely from the fires yesterday. Now, here's the deal is the fire danger is not done with us today. Obviously, it's diminishing. But tomorrow, and this would be mostly northwest of Tulsa, fire danger comes back up pretty fast as the winds return Sunday, Monday. And unfortunately, as we're looking ahead towards this upcoming week, Tuesday, has a somewhat similar look to what we just went through yesterday. Maybe not 50, 60 mile an hour winds, but very windy. Uh, non nonetheless, warm, low humidity in northwest of Tulsa. We could have some big fire problems again on a Tuesday, so we're already keeping a close eye on that. Back to the good news for today. Plenty of sunshine. Winds getting lighter this afternoon. Highs in the 60s. Areas to the east a little bit cooler. So you get out towards Tahlequah Grove, Grand Lake, Miami. You're closer to 60 for your high today, but mid to upper 60s from Tulsa to the west out towards Oklahoma City. Tomorrow morning, we're starting off in the low 40s. The south winds starting to kick in, and then the winds increase quickly. Now tomorrow, we're going to climb to about the low 70s for a high of the day around lunchtime, 1 o'clock. And then temperatures will probably drop mid to late afternoon. So I think we'll wrap up today Sunday a little bit cooler. Uh, then we will be at lunchtime as shower and storms move in. And these will quickly move in from southwest to northeast. Generally, I-44 to the south is where there'll be a lot more widespread. And yet again, if you're north and west of I-44, you're going to mostly miss out on this. That'll quickly move out Sunday night. Now, there could be some heavier storms in southeastern Oklahoma, but from a rainfall standpoint, this goes over the next seven days. But a lot of this is confined to tomorrow. Uh, heavier amounts you know, half an inch, maybe an inch of rain in spots in southeastern Oklahoma. And then north and west, we're seeing those lighter greens. Very little, if any, rainfall from that Sunday system. I've got Tulsa's chances for tomorrow at about 40%. S south of Tulsa, your chances are higher. North chance, uh, of Tulsa, your chances are lower. Warming up to start the week, low to mid-80s Monday and Tuesday. Again, could be some fire danger concerns early in the week. And then we cool back down with another cold front by Wednesday.